Hey guys, so today I wanted to make an art video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I really want to start them up again. Today I'm going to be trying something I've never tried before. I'm going to be creating a tempera painting, which was an old technique that used to be used in the Renaissance, uh, the Gothic period, ancient Egypt, and essentially you just combine an egg yolk with color pigment, um, mix it together, and then you have a painting material to work with. Um, I've never tried this, this is obviously not a very popular method to use anymore. Uh, mainly today people just use oil or acrylic. Um, I've only ever worked with acrylic before, and uh, this just feels a lot different. The way it feels and the way it moves on the canvas is just uh, really unique. I did not realize how fast it would dry, so it got really goopy really fast, uh, which made it a lot tougher to push around and blend in the color. But I found it was really great to uh, create fine details. It seemed to work with you in those areas. But here I'm drawing a skull and it is in Leonardo da Vinci's sketchbook called View of the Skull. He sketched it in 1489. And I really love da Vinci just because he was one of the first artists to be considered a genius. He was honestly brilliant and was considered um, a proper renaissance man. Oh, he dabbled in a wide array of disciplines like art and uh, architecture, math, literature, engineering, anatomy, geology, music. He was just, he was just doing the most. Um, but yeah, he used to go to the morgue and he would, he would like examine and observe the dead bodies and he would sketch them and really figure out what's happening underneath our flesh. And I think that's so neat because it obviously reflects in his work. He just started a revolution for art of really um, hoping to capture the true essence of human structure. So yeah, I just think he's really great and I, I figured I would just paint a skull because skulls are fun. Um, for the different pigments, I, I chose to just go with two simple colors because obviously it takes a lot of more advanced, more developed skill to be able to complete a painting with a wide spectrum of colors. Um, so I just chose two. For my deep umber, I, I grated some black charcoal so I could have the black pigments and I added some cinnamon because, you know, they used to add all sorts of spices, plants, to obtain a certain color. So I mixed cinnamon and dark charcoal. And then for the lighter color, um, I did add some ground up white charcoal. However, it's not that opaque, so I, I was kind of left with a semi-clear white uh, yellow color. And yeah, so if you guys have any ideas or suggestions of what you want to see me draw, um, or any challenges, I don't know, whatever you want, um, tell me in the comments, uh, and yeah, <laughs> I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you next time, bye.